Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, this morning, I want to talk about surrendering, surrendering to God. So many people have a problem with that today, surrendering to God. I want to come out of James 4 and 6, and it says, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he say, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Babies, sometimes I know it is hard to surrender to God. But God wants you to surrender every area of your life. Every area of your life, he wants you to surrender to him. You know, even in our personal relationships, it's hard to surrender to our husbands, our wives, you know, to our mates. You know, it is just surrendering is something that we don't want to do. You know, even with some of you that say that you want to lose weight, like I'm on this process of losing weight. Sometimes it's so hard to surrender just to make the right food choices, to make the choice to surrender that I'm going to exercise. You know, God has rules, laws, and regulations that we have to surrender to. You know, and most people don't want to do his way. It seems hard. It seems whole hard to surrender to God. But when you do things outside the bounds of God, you're surrendering to the enemy. You're doing the enemy's way. You're keeping his will. And babies, I told God, I don't want to do anything to further the kingdom of the enemy. Nothing at all. I don't want to help his kingdom. I want to help God's kingdom. So I want to surrender all to God. I don't want to be double-minded in my ways. You know, being double-minded, he says you're unstable in all your ways. And you see so many people out here today, let me take my glasses off, that are unstable in all their ways. They're unstable because they're double-minded. You know, God said, if you be lukewarm, he will spew you out. You know, so many people want to come to God. They want to go up there, confess the sinner's prayer. But they still want to continue to live the way that they live. They don't want to surrender to God's ways and his will. They don't want to surrender to God and get their mind renewed and get the mind of Christ. You can't do that, babies. You have to surrender your mind, your heart, your will, your way to God. All those ways that you don't learn in the world, all those dysfunctional ways you don't learn in your family, all those dysfunctional ways you don't learn from being around different people, all those dysfunctional ways you don't learn from watching TV, from listening to this dysfunctional music, you have to submit your ways and will to God so you can begin to do the things of God, so you can begin to talk as God talks, so you can begin to reflect the image of God. That's what it's about, babies, reflecting the image of God, reflecting the love of God so he can draw other men and other women unto him. Babies, surrender. You know, it's an old song they used to sing back in, in church, and I used to love that song, and I still love it. It touches my heart. Now, I'm not a songstress, <laughs> but I'm going to give you a little bit of it. I surrender all. All to Jesus, bless his Savior, I surrender all. Babies, that's what you want to say today. I sur Oh, I feel the anointed. Mm, wait a minute, Lord. But anyway, surrender all to God. Surrender all to him. Babies, life will be so beautiful, so sweet, so peaceful, so joyful. Your decision-making process will be so precise. You won't be wavering to and fro, not knowing what to do and what not to do. Surrender all to God. Get in your word. Learn his way. Learn his truth. Learn God. Surrender all to him. You know, once you begin to surrender all to God, you that are married, you that want to be in relationships, you'll be able to serve your husband, serve your wife. You'll be able to surrender to them in ways that it's hard for you to surrender now. Your relationship will go so much smoother. Your marriage will be so much better. Your friendships will be so much better. 
Babies, just surrender all to God. Don't resist God. You know, when you resist God and resist his ways, you know, and fight against God, it makes life hard for you. You know, I know it was a time in my life and I didn't realize I was doing it. And some of you don't realize that you're resisting God, that you're not really surrendering certain areas of your life to God. And I know that this relationship that I was in, God wanted me out of that relationship. But from being indoctrinated as a young girl and learning certain things through religion, I thought I was supposed to stay. But God was telling me, no, no, this is not the relationship I chose for you. This is not the relationship I want you in. I want you out of here. You know, and he was doing everything to get me to understand what he was saying to me. But part of me, I wanted that relationship. Part of me, I was indoctrinated and thought I was supposed to stay. But God was like, no, my child. He was trying to free me. You know, and he told me one day, he said, if you, if you're looking at this person and saying that you can't live without them, you don't made them a God more than I am your God. Anything you say you can't live without, you're making that thing a God. That's just like, even with the food, you know, if I say I can't live without certain things, I done made food a God. Anything you say you can't live without, you done made it a God. You don't surrender to that thing. Anything that has control of you, you don't surrender to that. It's controlling you. It's controlling your mind. It's controlling your spirit. It's controlling your actions. You have surrendered to that. So that's why, babies, you want to surrender to God. Surrender all to him, every area of your life, so that he'll be controlling your mind. He'll be controlling your spirit. He'll be controlling your actions and your behavior. You want God to control you. You don't want to be out of the will of God. You don't want to act unseemly. You want your emotions to be in check. You want your attitudes to be in check. You want to walk in love. You want to have peace in your home. You want to have joy. You want to have understanding of his word. You want to have revelation knowledge of his word. You want to have an understanding of God. See, when you surrender to God, I tell you, it's a beautiful thing. I tell you, I've been doing it. I'm doing it. I'm still in the process of learning it. But I tell you, just surrendering all to God, it's a beautiful thing. It's peace. It is. It's peace that surpasses all understanding in it. Your life becomes so full. You begin to live in every moment. You begin to love every moment. You're not chasing every win and every doctrine. You're not chasing after money. You're not chasing after a man. You're not chasing after a woman. You're not chasing after all these things. You be seeking God and his kingdom and his righteousness and knowing that everything will be added unto you when you do that. It's just so much peace and surrender to God. Baby, surrender all to God. Surrender all to him. Surrender your mind. Surrender your spirit. Surrender your actions. Babies, God loves you. He loves you. He wants all of you. You know how when you're in a relationship with somebody and you want all of them, you want to know that they're there with your heart, mind, and soul. You want them communicating with you. You want to spend time with them. That's what God wants with us first. He wants to spend time with us. He wants to communicate with us every day. He wants to be a part of every decision that we make every day, every minute, every hour. Baby, surrender to God. He's crying out to you today to surrender to him. So many of you are going through so many different things in your life. And it's because you're not surrendered to God. <clears throat> Excuse me, babies. You're surrendered to everything else and everybody else. And surrendered to your job and surrendered to your kids. Surrendered to your family. Surrendered to that boo in your life. But you're not surrendered to God. You're surrendering to all your fears, all your anxieties. You're surrendering to everything but God. God wants you to surrender to him. He don't want your fears to take you out because you surrender to them. He don't want your doubts and your unbeliefs taking control of you because you surrender to them. He don't want you to be so stressed out about your financial situation that you don't surrender to it. More than you don't surrender to God so you can't walk in faith. 
and not by sight. Babies, God loves you. He wants you to surrender all to him, all to him. And I know sometimes it's rough. And it's rough because you're not seeking him. You're not seeking God. You need to seek God to be able to surrender to him. Seek him every day, every minute, every hour so that you can surrender to him. You know, if you don't seek him, if you don't learn of him, you don't know how to surrender to him. You don't know his ways and his will to be able to surrender. Baby, seek God like never before. This is a time that you don't need to be surrendering to the things in this world. You don't need to be surrendering to your fears and your anxieties. You don't need to be surrendered to your children that is not serving God. You don't need to be surrendered to your family members that's not serving God. You don't need to be surrendered to that spouse that's not serving God. You don't need to make choices and decisions that is not of God because you didn't surrender to him in his way and his will to know what decision to make in your life. Babies, God loves you and so do I. And he's crying out to you today to surrender to him. He wants to be in a relationship with you. He wants to love on you. He wants you to love on him. He wants to communicate with you. He wants you to communicate with him. He wants you to understand him. You know, and all you're getting, get understanding. It's a lot of things out here that you can get. And you get it every day, information every day. But if you don't understand the information you get, you're not going to be able to apply it to your life and be able to execute it out. Babies, and that's how it is with God. If you don't get God and get an understanding of him, how can you apply what he's telling you to your life and execute it out? You can't. You need to surrender to him. Surrender to God. And through surrendering to God, you'll get an understanding of him. And you'll be able to do his will. Keep his way. Flee sin. Things won't be as hard as they are when you really, truly surrender to God. Babies, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I just, I tell you, I just feel this on my heart so much this morning. I feel it so much on my heart. Babies, just surrender to God. Don't wrestle with God like Jacob did. Don't wrestle. Don't wrestle. Just surrender to him. Surrender all to God. Don't, don't, don't cause him to have to break you to make you. Surrender willingly. Surrender. Throw your hands up and just say, Lord, I surrender all this morning. God, I surrender all. I surrender all. I said myself, I surrender all to you, God, this morning. I surrender all my life, my mind, my heart, my soul. God, I surrender. Just say it with me. God, I surrender my heart, my mind, my soul, my life, my actions. God, I surrender all to you, God. All to you, God. I love you, God. I praise you and I worship you today, God. I surrender all to you. That's all you got to say to him. That's all he wants, babies. And surrender your actions and your deeds that you do in this body to God. Surrender your heart. Surrender your tongue. Surrender. Surrender all to God. Babies, he loves you. He don't come to hurt you. He don't come to make things hard. If you do his way and his will, if you surrender to him, babies, you'll see how sweet it is. You'll see how sweet it is to surrender to God. He says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Ain't that the word? Oh, taste and see. Taste of him. You know, so many people try to go out here and think that there is no God. But God says that, you know, the unbeliever is not going to understand the things of God. But if they just come and taste and see, they'll see that the Lord is good. So many of you are going to church this morning. So many of you claiming that you're serving God today. But have you really tasted of God? You know, you're walking around every day with your head held down, face tore up. I know you haven't tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Because once you really taste and see that the Lord is good, mm, there's no way you won't have joy in your heart. There's no way you won't have peace in your mind. 
There's no way that you won't walk in love when you taste and see that the Lord is good. Babies, I love you. I take the spirit of this army this morning. I just pray that this video touches somebody's life today, that you taste and see that the Lord is good, that you want to surrender all to God. And begin to see your life change in ways that you never believed that it would change. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Smooch your sugar woogers. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good.